Hi, in this video I will take you on a brief tour of Jupyter Lab, which is an interactive computing environment that we use in this course. So when you start Jupyter Lab, you will eventually arrive at this view, which is the main view to the interactive computing environment. And this main view has two parts. On the left hand side, you can see a file browser, which allows you to browse the files and folders in the file system of the computer or server. And then on the right hand side, you have a launcher, which allows you to launch Jupyter Notebooks, consoles and terminals, and also has a few applications for taking notes. Then on the far left hand side, you see um, a toolbar, which has several shortcuts. Um, the first one on the top takes you to the file browser, whereas the second one shows all the running notebooks, consoles and terminal sessions. The third one um, is especially important if you need accessibility features. So if you scroll down in this section, which is called commands, then you will find an option to increase the font size um, for the notebooks, for the terminal and also for the Jupyter Lab interface. So let's explore the environment a bit. We can go back to the file browser here on top. And as you can see, I already have a folder named notebooks on my server and I can click this folder to access it. And as you can see, the folder has three subfolders. And I could click part one, which contains two of the notebooks with some introductory materials on Python. And just by clicking this file here twice, um, it'll open up the Jupyter notebook on the right hand side next to the launcher. You might also want to upload your own files to JupyterLab, which is easily um, done by pressing this button right here. So you can click it and then choose files from your own computer and upload them to the remote server. Finally, if you want to manipulate some files um, on the server via JupyterLab, you can always right click a file to open several options. Um, you can copy, um, cut, download and even get shareable links to the files which might be useful if you want to share or download your work. So this concludes the very brief overview of Jupyter Lab as an environment and there are many other possibilities um, for customizing and doing things in this environment so feel free to explore it on your own. I hope you found this video useful. If you have any questions please leave a comment below. Thanks and see you next time.